Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about using the Pythagorean Theorem to calculate distance on a coordinate grid. So, the first page we're going to take some notes together, and then on the next page we're going to do a problem together. And then on the third page there's a problem for you to try on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so let's take a look at this first problem. Here we have two points. We have point A, which is located at negative 2 and negative 1, and point B, which is located at 4 and 7. And we want to figure out how far it is from point A to point B. All right. Now here's the challenge. What you're not allowed to do is just go from point B to A and just count the number of boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. It's not that simple. Okay, let me show you why. Let's say uh, what I want you to do is I want you to draw a nice little box over here. Okay. And let's say that's a perfect square. And let's say that the length and width of that square are both one and one. So we know the length is one and the width is one. Okay. Well, what you should know about already with right triangles is that the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle, right? So here's the deal. If we draw a line like that and we now have a right triangle right here, well, the hypotenuse is this blue line. So it has to be longer than leg A and B, right? So if leg A is one and leg B is one, well, the hypotenuse has to be more than one, okay? So every single time we travel from one box, one corner of the box to the other, it's more than one. So what you have to do is you have to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the distance from A to B. And to do that, we need to kind of create a right triangle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have side A and B be the hypotenuse. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw in the legs of the right triangle. So this is going to be leg one, and this is going to be leg two. Okay, it's really as simple as that. I could have also have gone in this direction like this, left and then then down. It'd be the same thing. Okay. Now that I have the right triangle, I can now come up with the exact length of uh, leg A and B because every time we go directly across that's going to be a one right so it's going to be one two three four five six so the length of this side is six and then going up it's going to be one two three four five six seven and eight so this is going to be eight so i know leg one is six and leg eight uh sorry leg two is eight now we can use the information to use the theorem to solve for, for C, okay? And C is gonna be the distance from these two points. So let's write down the theorem here. It's gonna be A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And let's just plug in the values now. So A, we're gonna say is six. So it's gonna be six squared plus eight squared equals C squared. And six squared is uh, 36 plus a squared is 64. That's going to equal C squared. And 36 and 64 adds up to 100, which equals C squared. And then finally, uh, we're going to take the square root of both sides. And C is going to end up being 10. And that's our distance from point B to A or from point A to B. All right? So let's actually do uh, one more problem together. And here it is. Okay. Now notice we already have a triangle, but it says the direction state. Let, let's find the exact distance from point A to B. Okay. So we're gonna we want to know the distance from this point here to this point way up here. And again, we need to create uh, add the legs to make this a right triangle. Okay. So I'm gonna use different color to make it really obvious. So our right triangle is gonna be like this now. Everybody see that? So there's our leg one, there's our leg two, and that red line now, the distance from A to B is the hypotenuse. All right? So the distance of our first leg is one. The distance of our second leg is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we can use that now to figure out the distance of the hypotenuse, which is from A to B, right? So let's write down the formula, so A squared, plus b squared equals c squared. And let's plug in what we know. So we know one squared plus seven squared 
equals c squared. And 1 squared is this 1 times 1, which is 1, plus 7 squared, well, 7 times 7 is 49, equals c squared. Now, 1 plus 49 is 50, so 50 equals c squared. So now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So c is going to equal the square root of 50, and that right there is our answer. Now we could convert that into a, a decimal and round and get it, but the square root of 50, that's the exact distance from point A to point B. All right, so again, to find the distance um, on a coordinate grid, what you have to do is, if, it, if this line is gonna be that hypotenuse of a triangle, you have to draw on the other legs and then use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out that distance. All right, so why don't you pa pause the video and try the your turn problem now, and when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. So for this problem, you want to find the exact distance from point A to C. So here's point A and here's point C. So our distance we're talking about is from here to here. So we need to first create the right triangle. So I'm going to add in the legs like that. And now we need to find the dimensions of the legs, right? So from this point to this point is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then from this point to this point is going to also be 5, I believe. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. So we know side A and B are both 5. So when we use a the theorem now, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 5 squared plus 5 squared equals c squared. And 5 squared is 25 plus 5 squared is another 25 equals c squared. 25 plus 25 is 50. So 50 equals c squared. So now to get c, we take the square root of both sides and c equals the square root of 50, which was the same answer as the problem we did together. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?